Broken Hearted by Carmen. This is just the first part of it and a, a, a simple way that we can play some of this stuff. So changing my camera here so you can see what I'm talking about. So uh, the first thing we want to play is that E, right? And we can play an E down here if we want to, but we can also play an E up here. At the fourth fret as a triangle, right? And then we want to go, uh, so I got my first finger on the fourth fret of the G string my third finger on the fifth fret of the B string and my second finger on the fourth fret of the E string. I'm just going to play those three notes like that. Right Now I'm going to change uh, that to a C minor and really I'm in the same position. So now my third finger is on the sixth fret of the G string, second finger on the fifth fret of the B string, and first finger on the fourth fret of the E string. The two chords I have so far. Um, I've been waiting all day for you to call me baby and then we need an A so we can go all the way down here to an A and play just the second fret of the two three and four strings so come on let's get started and I'm just gonna move those three fingers up don't you leave me broken hearted tonight and then back to that triangle again so we've got uh, this shape right here the triangle shape right a uh, uh, sort of diagonal shape and a straight across shape. So the triangle shape here is starting on the fourth fret. There's your one, there's your E, right? Now I'm going to play a uh, C, uh, C sharp minor, which is a diagonal fourth fret, fifth fret, and sixth fret on the one, two, and three strings respectively. Then an A down here, and I can play that with one finger because I'm only playing uh, the two, three, and four strings, right? And then the same. Uh, idea, um, same uh, fret, same same fret, three adjacent strings here on the fourth fret. So here we get we'll go again. So uh, like so. So come on, let's get started. Don't you leave me broken hearted tonight. 